Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Stunlock and this is Signs of the Sojourner. I only discovered this game a few days ago. Decided that this would be a perfect game to play as the first game on this channel. I hope you enjoy it. This is a blind playthrough, so we'll see how it goes. But it looks like a fun game, so let's get started. Childhood spat. The worst fight you and Elias ever had was over a strange locket in mom's room. Curiosity got the best of you, but Elias was afraid of getting in trouble. Your mom has collected so much cool stuff in here. How many towns has she visited now? Okay, so as far as I understand it, you have to use these these symbols like the circle and the triangle those represent personality traits and so you're trying to have a harmonious conversation with people based on the cards they play and you try to match you know the uh the mood or whatever quality it is that they place down when they play their card i hope that makes sense anyway so i'm gonna match my circle on the right side up there you see that circle i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna match that play that all right conversations completing a sequence will earn a white square I'm gonna call those positives a mismatch will earn a black square a negative when all positive or negative have been earned the conversation will end select the speech bubbles to view previous dialogue Let's play caravaneers, just like her. You be the driver, I'll be the navigator. Alright. Wait, hang on. You should look in her you shouldn't look in her desk. She's gonna be mad. Is that a locket? I've never seen your mom wear a locket. Alright, so empathetic and observant. Hey, you're not listening. We shouldn't be snooping. But I don't think there's anything I can do here because he played a triangle. He played logical and observant. I don't have anything that can match that. So, yeah. Why do you always drag me into stuff like this? Put it back before we get caught. That fight could only have ended how it did. You and Elias were too stubborn. Sometimes, Mom said, some stances deserve defense. But that time, she stepped in to mediate. You two, what are you doing in here? I'll need to leave soon. The caravan's almost here. Come say goodbye. What are you even fighting about? All right, so we're gonna play. Yeah, we only we don't really have a lot of options here. He's probably gonna play logical. Accord, created when you and the other person each play one card together, connecting four of the same symbols in a row. According, accord will protect your progress when a mismatch is made. So four symbols in a row, you get sort of like this protective thing there that so that you can play a card that doesn't match and you're still good. It's okay to not always understand each other. One miscommunication doesn't have to end a friendship. Let me help you figure this out. If you get a little lost, think about how he's reacted in the past. Have you been able to connect and get past your differences? Right, so uh, we basically have all of the same kind of card. Not 
Not all disagreements have to be the end of your friendship. Listen to each other. See if you can find common ground. Mom steps in. You think back on that fight years later, after Mom passed on, when you and Elias had to rely on each other all the more. Farewells. It's your first time back inside Mom's old store since the funeral. All told, she didn't leave much. She was always on the road, and what she brought back sold fast. Elias runs his hand down an empty shelf before clearing his throat. You feel it too, don't you? The uh, weirdness of being in here without your mom. Can't seem to wrap my head around her being gone. My bad. Now I'm the one making things weird. Alright, so now we have two empathetic and observance on the same card. We have t actually we have three of those now. Alright. So we could play the wrong card here. The wrong we could have a mismatch, I should say. And we're good. Yeah, you're right. She wouldn't want us to dwell. I gotta cheer up. After all, she always looked so pleased when she was here. Making people smile, giving them samples of cool, cool new stuff, even if they were broke. I think it might just have been her favorite place. She'd be so happy to see the two of us taking over the store like this. You out there on the open road and me uh, keeping an eye on things here, which is totally just as exciting. Not that I mind, of course. Being stuck out there in the caravan would drive me crazy. Alright, so... I'm gonna play that. I knew he would do that. We're almost there. One more to go. Oh, there's the caravan now, right on schedule. The leader, Nadine, runs a tight ship, but I don't trust her. I hear she's planning to drop the town from the caravan route. That'd be real bad for Bartow. Hey, while you're out there, maybe you can change your mind. All right. New card, accommodate duplicates both symbols of the previous card. Okay. So it allows you to repeat the last card. And I'm going to play that. I'm sure this gets more complicated as we go on. No matter what, you're gonna do great. I bet you come back with a bunch of cool stuff. You packed everything, right? You packed everything you need, right? Socks. If the truck breaks down out there and you don't have socks, it's all over. <laughs> don't worry about this place. It's in good hands. Take care of yourself out there. Farewells. You'll miss Elias, too, and wish you didn't have to leave so soon. You've planned this trip for a while, but it only started to feel real in the last few hours. The store needs three new products. So that's our stated goal. Oh wait. What's this? So we have to... Oh, we have to switch a card out. We get to choose one of these three. Alright, so I have... I only have one card with the triangle the logical card on the left and empathetic on the right. I have a bunch of these. There's no point in trading one of these out. Because then you get yourself stuck. So we obviously should take this, accommodate. That could be a very strategic card to play. Let's put that here. Let me 
Okay, home. Bartow. Quiet enough to hear the grasshoppers rub their wings together at dawn and the crickets at dusk. You know, you know the name, nickname, and favorite color of every person in town. It's past time to leave for a spell. Okay, so I guess we talked to her. So that's her personality. She has logical and diplomatic as well as empathetic, but she has them in reverse. So it should be good. We should get along, I think, right? It should be an easy conversation. Follow close. Almost a dozen vehicles sputtered down Bartow's dirt roads. Their engines once signaled Mom's imminent departure as well as her return. Nadine, sitting on the running board of her truck cab, gestures for your attention. I trust you have sufficient provisions for the route. Our first stop will be Pachenko, the artist colony. Nadine mentioned a place from Mom's stories, Pachenko. Okay, so that's where we're going. Be alert. Reptiles cross Thunder Lizard Road to their heart's content. You don't want your guts on the windshield, on your windshield. Wow. Nadine told me about the road from home to Pachenko. Is it that dangerous? Okay. So she played that first. I'm gonna do the same. Got four in a row. Obviously, I'm gonna play, let's play this. My condolences for your loss. Your mom and I had our differences, but I respected her all the same. Before the caravan heads out, we need to talk. I thought that's what we were doing. Unless you turn in, turn this store around and keep it well stocked, oh, keep it well stocked, the caravan will have to drop Bartar from the route. Okay, so I think that's what our mission is. keep the shop up and running okay so let's play uh, this all right we can play a we can play this without a problem without the store in good shape it doesn't make sense for the caravan to stop here awful waste of resources I probably don't have to spell it out that this would be bad for Bartel I know y'all depend on the traffic. It's not my choice, not entirely. I make the final call, but I'm beholden to the caravan members and their needs. Believe it or not, Bartow would, Bartow would be dropped already if I didn't owe your mom a favor. I argued on your behalf. This is really interesting, so the cards you play will determine how the conversation goes. I like this. All right, let's, let's uh, play this. And we'll play this. It might not sound like it, kid, but I'm in your corner. My hands are tied with this. I wanna see you succeed. Follow close. Nothing about this situation is good, but Nadine probably isn't to blame. You thank her for the info. All right, we gotta choose another card. So I'm gonna choose this one on the left. I have a ton of these already. I only have one card that has logical on the left. So we're gonna switch it out for one of these double empathetic and observance. I guess that's it. We're done here. Okay. So what is this? What is this? This is a calendar. Nadine mentioned a place from the... Yeah, this is what she told us. So I guess we hit Pachenko on the third. And trips remaining on the top right. Five, four, three, two, last trip. 
So we have five trips to get three items. We have to get three items by the end of the month. Got it. Okay. So what are these? Okay. Elias is the best friend. Carly and Bartow. Got it. Nadine. We know her. Wait a minute. Yeah, Elias and I have the same personality cards. She's got uh, logical first. Oh, wow. There's a lot of characters. Four pages. All right, so we got a long way to go. Cards. Cord. And a... Oh, there's a ton of abilities on the bottom. So yeah, it's going to get much more complex, it seems. Items. We don't have any items yet, I guess. Calendar. All right. So we go to Pachenko. Pachenko. The twisty canyon roads leading to Pachenko would send a green traveler in circles. A rundown vehicle has trouble with the pat with the last slope up the plateau, but Nadine leaves no one behind. All right, so we got two people to talk to. We can talk to Nadine. And we can talk to Tomas, a painter with the disposition of a small, nervous calf. <laughs> that is a very interesting description. The artist stall. Thomas sits demurely, surrounded by paintings that depict fruit trees and, most prolifically, a calico cat rendered in the finest detail. Each portrait is a sign with an illegible flourish, different each time. All right. Let the crowds fade as you inhabit the um, the lac lacune inside each piece. I'll be, I hope I said that word right. I'll be quiet as you converse with the art. I hope you like it. Oh, I need to provide a statement. <sighs> All right. Mm, let's play this. I have a bunch of those. Let's keep it empathetic, buddy. No, let's play this. What? Clarify can be inserted between any valid match or played normally. Uh, you can play it in the middle. As long as there's a match there. Alright, cool. I hope we can get that one. Um, that piece is called Self Portrait Number Five. I felt such an affinity with these tree depict with the tree depicted. It's a good tree. How does it make you feel when you stare at the branches? Tomas. <laughs> He's funny, all right. Mm, that was not my intention at all, but at least it elicited a reaction from you. I'll probably throw that piece in the trash. Even though we are protected here, I'm gonna play this. Oh, you like that one. Let me wrap that for you. Safe and secure on your travels. My first sale this month. I'm having my first art show next month. You could come if you like. All right, every compliment on Thomas's artwork is a drop in a bottomless bucket. Who knows if you've done anything for his self-esteem, but the painting is nice. Thomas invited you to his show next month. Wait, we can actually come back? All right, so what is that? Did we just get an we got an item. Is that an item for the shop? Oh wait, yeah, we're definitely taking this card. And we're gonna replace another one of these double empathy cards. The twisty canyon rose. Oh, never mind. I already read that. Why am I reading it again? So let's talk to Nadine. Nadine contemplates a cast bronze sculpture of a frill-necked lizard whose head has been replaced with a man's vacant features. 
She rubs her chin for a while, chewing on some thoughts. Alright, so this is... This is serious Nadine. This is... No joking around here. You handled those steep hills and inclines well. The caravan's next stop will be Clifton, the market town. The road we take is prone to landslides. Ride close. If I can't see your truck, I can't protect you. Got it. Oh, so we only have one chance here. So... Wait, no, what am I doing? I don't want to play that yet. I thought that was a regular double empathy. Let's play this. Uh, boy. See, right here, I can't play a triangle. Or logic. So this is where I would want to play this. Clarify. Oh no, did I do it in the wrong spot? Oh, I messed up. Oh, I messed up. I should have moved it. I didn't play it. I shouldn't have played it at the end. Nadine absorbed with the artwork. Nadine absorbed with the artwork barely acknowledges your presence. I hope that's not. I hope that's not gonna affect me in a negative way. All right, so let's take this. We don't have one of these. I'm kicking myself right now. But we will survive. Alright, moving on. I guess there's nothing else to do here. To Clifton. Fatigue. Gain fatigue over time as you travel. Returning home and unpacking your items will remove it. Fatigue cannot match with any symbols. Oh boy. So fatigue is like an automatic fail. Unless you play it after an accord. But a, yeah, but then the card after it won't match. Alright, that's good to know. So we have to return home sometimes. Alright, so now this is Clifton. Every turn down the streets of Clifton seems to reveal another mountain in the distance, another horizon. Nadine doesn't stop for sightseers though. You watch for pedestrians as the caravan rolls downtown. So this is Ramir, a man from the caravan. He looks familiar. familiar face. You know his name, Ramir. He grew up in Bartow, traveled with the caravan, turned from neighbor to visitor. He's sitting off the hood of a car the same way he used to sit off his porch way back in the day. First time with the caravan, ain't it? Hope your mom taught you the ropes. It's not easy out here. I remember my first time. Pachenko, Clifton, Bakam, Boro. A whirlwind of new experiences. Rammer mentioned a place from Mom's stories, Bukham Boro. That's one place, Bukham Boro. Gotcha. Just keep your cool. The road to Bukham Boro shreds a lot of tires. Don't panic if it all goes to hell. Good thing I picked up some of those logics. All right, we're gonna play this first. Good. Remember, everyone you meet on the road is out here for a reason, and most won't tell you what it is. Don't believe every word that comes out of someone's mouth, even if they're nice, especially if they're nice. This guy doesn't trust anybody. I always respected your mom. She thrived out here, completely in her element. A shark if I ever knew one. Just because she had friends on the road doesn't mean you do. You don't inherit connections. Oh, this guy's giving me the hard truth. All right. Uh, observe. Reveals the other person's hand when played. Yeah. 
that's cool. We need that. So he's looking at my cards. Ramir is looking at my freaking cards. We're not gonna play this. We're gonna play this. It took your mom years to build her network. It'll take you time too. I don't wanna see you ruin what she made. You nod along to Ramir's advice. He glances over every so often to make sure you're paying attention, which seems to satisfy him. All right, we're taking this card for sure. Uh, oh boy, well, who, what do we replace it with? See, now it's getting tricky. Um, all right, so we have Empathy, logic, empathy, logic, empathy, logic. We have a lot of these. We only have one, two of those. So I'm gonna replace this. Let's not get slippery fingers and screw it up like we did last time. Klaus, she's watching travelers walk past. Snack peddler. Vendors in Clifton compete to make the grandest promises, delivered with the loudest, most tenacious voice. Every woe, there's a, there's a product that can fix it. Klaus, on the other hand, is quiet, barely audible beneath the crowds. You must be with the caravan. Hello to you, traveler. Safety in numbers, is that it? Very wise. I'm a humble peddler of roasted nuts. Don't you enjoy those, traveler? Who does not? Life's simple pleasure. <laughs> okay. All right, so I could look at her cards. I'm not gonna do that yet. No, maybe we should. Let's do that now. All right, we're protected here. We'll play this. Good, good. But don't tell anyone. If I ever knew, I, if everyone knew I sell roasted nuts, they'd buy them up. None left for you. That's a really strange way to look at it. We can share a secret, can't we? You and I. Just a little information, a mere factoid kept between us. Kept safe between us. What's going on with this, Klaus? Perhaps you might not even trust me with your own secrets. You know so much about me, and I so little about you. Scandalous. What is she talking about? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm thinking, go here. Yes. If someone inquires after the roasted nuts, simply laugh, smile, and toss a delicious handful into your mouth. Klaus makes purchasing a simple bag of roasted nuts feel like a clandestine operation. You promise to keep her secrets, whatever those are. So we got two items for the shop. Um, hmm. I don't think I want to change anything. So I'm going to just replace this with this. That way I end up with the same deck. All right, now we talked to Nadine. I think we should head back home though. I don't want the fatigue cards to mess things up. Can we talk to Nadine? Oh, we can't. I guess we're done. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider hitting the like button, subscribing, or even leaving a comment. This pleases the algorithm and it helps the channel grow. Again, as always, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.